Yo, what is up guys, it's Stars, your friendly neighborhood fisherman, and welcome back to Fly Friday, Fly Friday number two, and today we're going to be tying a little subsurface uh, marabou shad imitation for bass. In, uh, what you're going to be needing is, I've got one piece of marabou, I use the Nature Spirit Strong Marabou White, uh, and for thread, I'm using the UN, UDE thread, gray ADOT hooks, must add streamer hooks, size 6, and <clears throat> I'm using a little bit of flash, I just got some clipped on here, and a little piece of foam. So first things first, I want to take off the foam. And we're going to make the little lip where it dive, dives down. So about the bend of the, sh about how far the bend is, you're going to just stick it through there. And that's going to be how long your lip is. So it's going to be sitting like that. We're actually going to be sitting like this. In the water. Pull it. It dives down a little bit. Yeah, my allergies are killing me right now. I cannot breathe on my nose, so bear with me. Yeah, just got done painting a little bit. So once it's like that, you're gonna stick it in up top like this. Throughout this fly, we're gonna be adjusting it. So right now, this is when you can just thread it, dress the. Like I've said before, it does not need to be neat. Just get it done. Okay. So you don't want to go too far onto the bend of the hook for this one. You don't want to cover that up. You want to leave it open for the fish. So now you add the marabou. This is where a lot of people get messed up. I've been to a few classes that teach it wrong, in my opinion. So what you want to do is you want to pinch the end of the marabou the length of your shank. Sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more. So when you're there, you pinch the end. You hold it right onto the shank, right where you want it. And you wrap it in. A lot of people tie it in at this point up here and then cut it, but that takes away the more the action of the fly. You're cutting off all these fine tips that really f flow in the way in the water. And with this, instead of actually cutting it off, so this this uh, feather will actually be part of the body, so I'm actually going to wrap it around like a hackle. Kind of just wrap it around it, gives it some bulk. And then next, we're going to go to this end back here. Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but I'll show it to you guys how it is right now. See, we've got this the marabou in the back the, wrapped around and then wrapped over it with red. And then we've got the foam that's just hanging out up front. So what you're going to want to do is we're going to add some of these <clears throat> to the back, just like a little bit about, about halfway around the marabou because we don't want to, we just want a little subtle flare in there and hold it out front and you're going to take a few wraps like that, move it up to the top. Stuff's getting in the way, but 
you know, just added a little bit of flash in there. And then you're going to move the thread up to the, around where the front is, right, should really right on top of that hump of marabou. And then you're going to hold it, fold it this forward. And you're going to just wrap it down. Cinch some of that down. And then I like coming in front of it. Wrap it in front so it actually pushes these taggins that we're going to cut off a little bit back. So I'm going to go back and cut off right about where the uh, we tied in the marabou. So you can see right there is that where you can see the thread. I'm gonna go right above that and snip those free. And now is when we go back to the foam. So we're actually going to flip this over and kind of pinch it over the the uh, the marabou that we lie on down, and then you take wraps in one location. And actually that is where you will finish off the fly, right in that back location. So we're going to half hitch, attempt to half hitch, shoot, right on top of that. There we go. And to preserve the foam and whatnot on this, we will actually add a tad bit of nail polish head cement right on those threads right there, on the top a little bit, and on the bottom. And I think I'm going to trim up that back piece of foam a little bit, round it off a little bit. There we go. Don't didn't want the uh, this extra foam in the back to impede the hook set hookup ratio. So there we go. There's the finished fly right there. Yep, there we go, so that'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, hit the bell and hit the like button. Subscribe, and you need Titanites. Peace.